And today on the review bench, we have something a little different. The Fi Fine K669 Pink Edition versus the current value contender, the Blue Snowball Ice. A nice and common microphone that most streamers have in their home for their value microphone. Who will be the victor? Will it be the Blue Standard Champion of most people or the Fi Fine? Up and coming brand of the value sector. Before jumping into the full review, we are going to test both microphones while we unbox them. So, the, today I'm using the Blue Snowball Ice. This is the microphone you can hear right now. It is a decent microphone. My problem with the previous Blue products that I had is that the back USB port tends to break, as well as the fact that they just don't seem to keep up their drivers very well so they stop working as well as they could have in the past but no big deal i guess they're not too expensive this microphone coming around 44 dollars or so at the time of recording it has a nice metal stand to it a little guide with it and nice photos throughout color guide and color little instruction panel a usb cable and a lot of really nice packaging as you can see it is really hard to damage this mic even though i like to throw it around as i was testing it it really is a beautiful microphone and for the price, it really does give you great quality. So with that, let's jump into the Fi Fi. Now we jump into the K669. That's the microphone I'm using now, and I am unboxing it. As you can see, Amazon beat up the box pretty good, but the product is perfectly fine. A nice quick start guide, everything about the microphone you need to know, as well as a dear customer thank you letter with quick links, as well as the information on the two-year warranty, which is nice to see. This is a lot like HyperX, which you'd see on very high-end products. Microphone, again, coming in at only around $42, is very impressive to see. That is CAD, USD, a lot less. Um, the cable is built in. This means for a probably a longer-lasting microphone than you're going to get with the blue, as the cable tends to break on the blue. Well, more or less the port breaks, not the cable. But this is nice to see. I quite like this. I like the metal fitting, where it connects to its little boom stand. All in all, it's a great-looking mic. And look at that volume slider. Let's test her out. So now we're testing the blue snowball again. As you can see, the blue snowball's right here, and I'm gonna go over some features I really like in it. The sound of the blue snowball is actually a little bit nicer than the Fi Fine. It's not as loud, and even once you turn up the Windows settings all the way, it's still not gonna be as loud as the Fi Fine. It is gonna start to pick up and like, it can be edited out later, later anyways, but if you're streaming or something like that, you may have some problems with it just not sounding as crisp and clear as you want if you have a softer voice. If you got a heavy voice like mine, quite loud, deep, you're not going to have any problems at all. Picks up my voice, no problem whatsoever. It actually sounds pretty decent. I did use a blue snowball before it became the Ice series years ago and absolutely loved it, except for one thing. I'm going to right away tell you why I will never buy another blue microphone other than this one to review which I did pay for with my own money, is the fact their driver support has been garbage. I hear they're getting bought out or have been bought out by Logitech. Hopefully that changes the drivers. But the fact that they completely do not support you and the fact that their ports on the back, the USB ports, break quite often is a no-no for me. I've had two of them break, and it was the end of blue for me. So I was feeling blue. Wall was too, so I ain't buying any more of them. Other than I lied and I bought this one. So... Features that I like about this microphone, it looks stunning. If you have it on stream and you have it on like a boom stand like this, it looks really cool. Uh, it's just a good looking microphone. It looks like a snowball. Pretty snazzy. Price wise, not too bad. I'm seeing around 42, 44 bucks USD. Which, once you look at the Fi Fine, that's a, an odd comparison because the Fi Fine only comes in about $29 or less. So that, that's good to know. The metal stand is beautiful. The nice aluminum stand. Looks absolutely stunning. So, kudos blue on that. The packaging as well. The package I got was destroyed. Like, Amazon just booted it down the hall. You know, um, like the old Ace Ventura video of kicking the thing everywhere. I bet they did that with that one. That box was thrashed when I got it. But, but one thing, the microphone is stunning. No damage, no dings, no dents, no nothing. Looks great. So, good on blue for that. They package it very well. It's easy to set up. You plug in, it says blue microphone just works it works great with premiere no problems at all so you can turn it up and down you usually don't lose much consistency on how the sound is it just gets a little fuzzier the louder it gets no problem there's no controls none whatsoever on the mic so you do lose out on that a little bit uh the cord looks beautiful 
it's pretty long. You can wrap it around your desk, no problem, around the back. It looks nice. It is not sleeved. It is shielded. It is great. I, I, I think they did a good job with that. It looks very old school Mackie. If you've ever owned any of the old Macs and they have cables that look like this. Looks nice. The stand is good. It, the mic does remove easily. You just spin it off and you can put it onto your boom stand. No problem. So I like that. So with that, I'm going to switch over to the Fi Fine and I'm going to tell you what I like and dislike about the Fi Fine. So now I'm switched over to the Fi Fine K669 in pink exterior. Great looking microphone. I actually do have to say it looks like a really mini high end microphone, but it's only 29 bucks, which is really cool. Uh, again, only 29 bucks. So the sound you hear here is $29 worth. You can mute it on the fly by turning this. So I'm going to just keep chatting as I mute myself. So now I'm coming back into about that 50% again. I like the fact that you can change the audio on the fly. You're on Discord something, somebody walks in. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a little button. Like if you pushed it in, it clicked or something, but it doesn't have that big freaking deal. 29 bucks. The quality is not terrible. The two of them, you, you be the judge. I'm going to let you guys choose because you can hear both now. You can choose. You heard the snowball. You heard me do my spiel on that. You saw the unboxing. You saw what's in them. They both come with basically the same accessories, which is the stands, the microphones themselves, and the cord. The cord is built into the Fi Fine. You'd think I'm going to dock them points for that. But I'm going to thank them for that. Because of the blue microphones, I've broken two of the backs of these, and I've been freaking gentle with them. Unplugged them two or three times, and boom, they're broken. Oh, it's frustrating. Especially when it was with a Yeti. And then I said, oh, my, I gotta be the only one. Google search it, boom, everyone's done it. That really sucked. So, Blue, I wish you cared more about that, and you worked new, worked harder on making a better port, which I see is exactly the same on these ones as it was on the older models. So, it is what it is. Call it a day. Move on. So, Fi Fine, it's built in. The little stand is nice. It's plastic in here, in like the connection joints and everything else, instead of, unlike the blue, which is metal all around. So, I'm going to dock at a couple of points for that. It doesn't tighten up all the way. When you crank this thing to all the way tight, thinking that, hey, the mic won't move up or down, as I'm going to show you now, it's going to make some annoying noises. It still moves. I've got that, I've reamed that freaking with a wrench, and I can't get it to stay still. So, we'll call that as it is. You're not going to be bumping your mic that much, so no big deal. How's the sound quality as you move from side to side? If I move over here to over here, the sound quality does go from side to side a little bit better than the blue. The blue is going to pick you up kind of everywhere, which is a, kind of a little bit of a problem for me. When the fact if you got loud fans, you click a keyboard or mechanical, everyone's going to hear you a little bit more on there. So if you've got a mechanical keyboard and stuff, the Fi Find might again be a little bit more for you. The packaging is nice, it's really small, minimalistic, a guide to where you get your drivers, which you don't really need, Windows is going to find this for you. Works with all OS's, no problem. I I'm pretty impressed, like $29, guys, and it comes in pink. I think when I look at blue microphones and I want another color, it's like $40 premium, they throw in a $40 microphone. That doesn't work well with me, not at all. So, Fifine has done a fine job. They've made a good microphone. It is going to get a real deal award. It's got it. 29 bucks for a decent microphone with a 48 volt phantom power built into it. Come on, that is a win. And the volume's adjustable, getting super loud right now, which is awesome. And then we're going to turn ourselves back down. I, I love the fact that there's a volume slider. That's freaking awesome. Good job, Fi Fine. So, of the two mics, which one's the best? That's subjective. The Fi Fine has that sound where you can get it really loud and it's going to pick up your voice well and everything, but I find the higher pitch voices and the very low ones, you're getting a little bit of that fuzz and bottom out too. It still sounds really good. Don't get me wrong, it sounds great. It sounds like a really high-end headset and then a little better, but it's not the audio quality I'm used to. It's no uh, 770 K or whatever the hell these things are, custom MXL 770s. It is a good one, which I just broke my boom stand, which we're going to fix here while I chat. It is uh, definitely a good mic. It's a lot better than my stand here. Um, would I buy it for myself? Well, I did. I bought it to test because I thought, how can a $29 microphone, with all the comments talk about how it beats the Blue Snowball or any of those other mics? And they do compare very close. They're both high quality, they're both great microphones, and I would buy it again. 
honestly, I'd get this for my kids for their podcasting systems and stuff like that, or for friends who are just looking for a low-cost podcast mic. I, I have no complaints with it, and I didn't realize how popular Fifine was. Today I was giving tech support to some kid in Mississippi, I think he said he lives, and I, I don't do tech support for a living, I just help him out a Discord group. And the kid in there said, oh, I'm from my Christmas list, I asked my parents for the five fine microphone, the first one you Google search it. Sounds like the K669? He's like, yeah, the K669B. I want that one. That one sounds great. I've heard all the videos. I absolutely love it. So, uh, hey man, I gotta say I'd recommend it. I honestly have no complaints with it. If you're looking to save money on that, buy a better video card, get another monitor, buy a K66, the K669 or K699. 669B, if you want to get yourself one in black, I gotta go pink, man. Pink's freaking awesome. My pop filter's in pink. Cheap freaking pop filter. Would I recommend these proof products? Yes. Would I buy another blue microphone? No, you guys have burned me too many times. It's never gonna happen again. Would I buy another Fifine? Yeah. I actually think I'm gonna buy the higher-end Fifine ones to try out next. So this is Solus 121 with Real Hard Reviews. Thanks for stopping by here in my excessive ramblings, and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell, and click another one of our videos. Have a great day.